anyone in your life right now who is contributing to your destruction your downfall your lukewarmness this night i separate you and them forever you are healthy you are asking god why the hospital will show you how irrelevant your question is don't thank god because we are happy we thank god to become happy there will be money this year there will be money can you can you receive your own portion receive now everyone who is a helper to your destiny wherever they are i call them by prophecy appear in your life now could it be that your belly is the reason why your destiny is closed yes sir could it be that you have not held on to the four horns of the altar in a retreat there are men who have not encountered true power because they are not ready for it when you get angry with life that door will open no it's just that many people are too casual about life lord why is my destiny locked left right and center you close the door no food if god can grant you the grace no water you stay there you lock the door lord you have anointed me as a man of god what is happening my church is not growing my life is not growing lord something is wrong what is wrong with my music ministry nobody is placing demand on my grace while people are sleeping in the night you are rolling from left to right praying tears coming out of your eyes you are crying your destiny with passion lord open the gates of my destiny i'm the firstborn i'm the last born out of 15 people 30 people in my lineage nobody has risen there has to be a way out what is that yoke oh god why why is it that 11 ladies married in my lineage none of them has joy he said bring forth your strong reasons Believers don't pray. Believers don't get angry enough. There is what we call holy anger. It's true. That you just sit down somewhere and say, Lord, something is wrong. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. Our only brother that got a job died two months. My sister married a rich man. She died with the man. Lord, what is wrong? There has to be an explanation. You sent an angel to come and give Daniel understanding. Where is that angel? He must come and meet me in this room. You are praying. There is a way you can be angry. Sleep will not near you. You organize vigils now. In two hours, people are sleeping. And sometimes it's even the pastors that are sleeping. What sort of indiscipline is that? How many hours is a vigil? Yet the same person can stand by the road and talking for the same time for the vigil. It's a spirit. Slumber is a spirit. Pray inquiry prayers. Lord, everything I put my hand in doesn't work. I entered five relationships in one year. They all died. What is all this? Someone said he will give me a job. It didn't work. Lord, render heaven. Speak to me. I need an explanation. When Job called upon the name of the Lord and he meant business, God came. He said, open down my eyes that I may behold wondrous things. Let me tell you this. If you want to rise in life, I want to give you a very big advice. It's not a doctrine. Please maximize your night times. I repeat, maximize your night times. Only weak people snore their entire life through the night. The night is when destiny, destiny things, shift things in the spirit. Ask the doctors. Most patients die in the night. You are at a sensitive period in your life. You need to be serious. It doesn't have to be a departmental retreat. Lord, a three-day fast. I need to find answers. I need to find answers. Off your phone. Remove the battery and throw it and keep it somewhere. Don't let that addiction. Will you die if you don't own your phone for three days? Will you die if you are not on social media? 
We make it look as if these things, if we off them, we will die. What if they steal the phone and for one week you don't have a phone? And you get down on your knees. Lord, it's me and you here. No friend, no koinonia, no apostle. You, if you have the resources and God grants you grace, you can go to one of these quiet hotels somewhere. Just book a room, 5,000. And close yourself there. Lord, you have said many things about my life. I'm tired of confusion. Lord, I'm tired. I believed this last week. Now, I don't even know what I believed again. I just finished a series on deliverance. And now, I'm even doubting the whole deliverance thing again. Lord, you have to help me. And you pray. Let me tell you. God comes when we take him serious. Did you hear what I said? God comes when we take him serious. For as long as you play games with God, you will never have him come. There is a mystery to an encounter. You must give it a life and death seriousness. When Koinonia was going to start, three days before Koinonia, or, or thereabout, before Koinonia would start, I went on a retreat. Jakatokabada. Lord, everything that I've put, the blueprints you reveal to me, is it intact? And if God ever spoke to me and said, this koinonia thing, you're on your own, I will close it. I never do anything in this ministry and in my life, a major decision without taking out time to pray. You ask the leaders, they know. Sometimes we will discuss something and they just come back the next few weeks and they find me keep quiet over it. If I keep quiet over an issue God has not spoken, I would die there until his voice comes. We don't respect the voice of God. That's why we continue to move in circles in our lives. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Fill this temple with your presence. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Yes. Fill this temple with your presence. I wait on you. Lord, I wait on you. I wait. One more time from your heart. I wait on you, Lord. I wait on you. I wait on you, Lord. I wait on you. You want to make a serious decision in your life who to marry, and all you are doing is browsing Facebook. You are about to marry a devil. You want to relocate from Nigeria or abroad and you think it's not a reason for a retreat. Should I move? Should I do? And you browse. Advantages of staying in Nigeria. Google, enter. That's your destiny we are talking about. There are defining moments. Please hear me. Not every decision in your life is equally important. Lord, should I start a church or continue like this? You don't make that kind of decision sitting down and drinking coffee. You lock yourself and say, flesh give way. I need to hear something for the destiny of millions. Fasting does not kill. A vigil does not kill my brothers and my sisters. Conquer spiritual laziness and receive the grace to stay until something comes upon your life. Lord, my ministry is not stable. Men are coming in, men are going out. What is all this? Today we have 10 members. Tomorrow we have 20 members. And the Holy Ghost comes to you and says, Son, there is a level of power and grace you need. They will not come and sit down for nothing. And you stay there. One hour becomes two hours. And the Spirit of God is watching your seriousness. Two hours become three hours. And the Holy Ghost says, this lady is not joking. I have seen there is a boundary you cross in prayer that even God knows you are no longer joking. You are praying, praying from your heart. 
Lord, you have called me into a ministry of signs and wonders. Where are the evidences? Why is my life barren? Why do I stand to minister and the word of God is not coming with fire? What could be wrong, oh God? I have read every book. I have listened to every man of God. And all of a sudden, he comes with his glory and says, my son, there is a way ministry is done. It's a revelation. You hear every great man tell you of their encounters. Run away from a man who does not have an encounter of the secret place. You don't copy everything. There are things you must get by yourself in the secret place. We were preparing. We are going to pray. Shortly before Koinonia will start. You know, I was already sensing in my spirit, okay, maybe let's go and start ministry in Abuja or somewhere there or just or whatever it is, you know. Koinonia was already on and I just sensed in my spirit and then I was having a retreat towards the end of the year and I just prayed and prayed and slept I didn't even know I had slept and all of a sudden I had a dream and in that dream I saw a plane lift and on that plane it was written ENI it was leaving Zaria to Abuja listen just when it was about to land in Abuja it crashed when I got up, I said, Lord, I get the message. The time has not come. I would have stupidly gotten up just because somebody wants to sponsor you does not mean God is in it. Please hear me. The times we live in require keenness of sensitivity. One brutal mistake you make can destroy your testimony forever. I would have done that now and you would have been surprised. What have you taken for granted in your life? A gentleman said he likes you. You didn't pray. You just smiled. I think he's the one. Even Samuel saw Eliab and said, surely this is the Lord's anointed. God said, no, no, no. No, 